Hello, what's Hacker Triple O Seven, and today I have a special tutorial for you guys, and this is on changing the Windows 8 or 8.1 boot logo. Now, this tutorial will only work for Windows 8 or 8.1. So, if you have Windows 7, and you want to change your boot logo, go to the description below, and I'll have a super old video of mine uh, demonstrating on how to do that. But anyway, though, guys, today we're focusing on Windows 8. So normally your Windows 8 boot logo is probably this right here, just the flags with um, the logo spinning. Or if you have a specific brand computer like ASUS, for example, you may have the ASUS logo with the circle spinning below it. So you have one of those different things. And to change that, um, it's actually not that hard. So all you have to do is follow this tutorial. So the first thing you're going to need is a .bmp file, which is going to be your image that you want to uh, put there. So for example, I have my little... Linux Penguin over here that I'm going to use. Now you can't take a normal JPEG file, whatever it may be, and rename it. Sometimes you get an error, and I'll explain that a bit later. So what you want to do is convert that online. The second thing you need is obviously the program to do it for you. Now this program is right here called 8 Boot Logo Changer. I'll have the link in the description below this page right here. Anyway, what you want to do is just go to the download location on the side here and choose the kind of closest one to you, although it doesn't really matter too, too much at all. So once it's done, what you want to do is just uh, download it and then open it up as soon as it's available to open up again. All right, so once it opens up, what you want to do is go through the installation process. There are no ads whatsoever, so it doesn't take too long to install, and it's only about two and a half megabytes. Once it's done, just boot it up, and what you have here is your current boot logo. So whatever it may be, the ASUS logo or the Windows flags, um, whatever it is, you will have your current one right in the square box here. So what you want to do now is go to load picture. You'll then want to find your dot p your dot bmp file and load it in. So this is what I was talking about earlier. If you load a file that's invalid, you get this error right here. Bitmap image is not valid. This basically means that you probably changed the extension. It's not a true um, bitmap file. So what you want to do is convert it online or something like that. Now, my other image that I showed you guys, the penguin there, is an actual one. So when I open that one up, it loads perfectly fine. So once you have your image loaded in, if you're having trouble with that, comment below. I'll try to help you out. But like I said, what you want to do is go online and kind of convert it using an online converter. What you want to do, though, is once it loads in, you want to take this square and just kind of... Um, draw it around your figure first. So for me, I want to do just around the penguin, and there you go. Just simply around the penguin, and we're all good to go. Now, once you have put it on your penguin, what you want to do is click this little generate bitmaps um, icon here. The program should doll out for a second or two, and then you should get your um, files. And you'll see if you click on them, they're just different uh, sizes of the same picture. All right, so once you're done with that, um, if you're running Windows 8.1, this is a alert to you. What you want to do is have the test mode area to double check if you have Windows 8.1. The easiest way to be, in my opinion at least, is go to the bottom left-hand corner. If you have a start button that leads you to this and you didn't mess with it, then you have Windows 8.1. And if you have Windows 8, you can ignore this step, but you probably should upgrade to Windows 8.1 anyway. But if you have Windows 8.1 on your computer, what you want to do is head over to the test mode and go to test mode, click it this, and it should say it will turn it on, click on. Click yes, and there you go. Now that it's on, you're all good to go. Then go to bitmaps again, and what you want to do now is click the backup folder, click yes. And it should say uh, making a backup, and it should say backup done, and click any key, and it'll close. And then what you want to do now is click the generate file here. It will dull out for a couple seconds while it generates that file. And it'll ask you if you want to install a certificate, click yes. And then we're good to go. Next thing you want to do is press apply, click yes. And you should see that it copies successfully. Once it's done, you can close out of it and you can exit out of the computer here. 
and then you go ahead and basically restart your computer. So I'll go ahead and restart it for you guys. And there we go, you guys can see I do have my penguin now as my boot logo. So that's pretty simple. Uh, again, you can edit it at any time. You can boot up that program again and change it every day if you like. So you can change it to really whatever image you want as long as it is a .bmp file. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely leave a thumbs up. And if it worked for you, definitely leave a thumbs up. If you have anything to say about this program, definitely leave it below in the comment section below. And if you're interested in more tutorials like this or uh, anything else in the world of tech, let me know in the comment section below and subscribe so that you know when that video is released. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 0007, and I'm signing off.